Hi, welcome back to Quinoa Paw Creations tutorial videos, and this is uh, part two in our newborn baby moccasins um, Zoom class session with my Facebook group. Um, today we're going to do the assembly of the moccasin tops that were beaded in the first session. So I have all my pieces cut out and have my beaded tops that were beaded. I'm going to use some Nymo size D beading, or beading thread and um, Glovers size 10 John James Glovers needles and Cotton fabric to line the moccasin tops and Some Elmer's glue to kind of stabilize the beadwork And just sew these together got still got the paper on the back of my moccasin there So I drew my my footprints. Now when you have my pattern and you put the pattern on there, this pattern is the size of a foot. So you always want to give about a quarter of an inch for your sew line when you're cutting it out. I, I probably should say that. <laughs> I don't know if I said that in the last video or not. I do have a video. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sewing uh, moccasins together, so I just cut that quarter an inch all the way around. And now I'm going to need uh, a strip. Um, I don't remember what the strip is called <laughs> that goes inside there. And I usually try to make it thick enough. Um, so that it'll be easier to cut off. And it needs to go all the way around the toe. I cut this off. I wouldn't add too much to all the layers, but I'm going to cut it off anyway. I was going to tear it, but this paper bag is thicker than just regular paper. It doesn't tear it quite so easy. Now I want to have a cotton liner. I'm going to leave, you, you, you could take this rest of this paper off if you wanted, because it was just to stabilize, but I'm going to leave it in there so that it will make my, this side of my moccasin stiffer. So I'm just going to put my cloth cotton fabric on the back of that. And some blue, just regular Elmer's glue. Now it's gonna cover up the threads and the knots and all that stuff. Basting thread cut off of there. Once I have my fabric glued on.
All right, so we're going to go through. Now, I usually, I don't know how other people do it, and they probably do it better and <laughs> easier, but I always fold my cloth down in there I, so I don't have to deal with it freeing. Nice clean edge on there. So we're going to have that. And then we're going to put our I said I can't remember <laughs> what, it, what it's called. I want the soft side to be basing up when I get done. So I make sure that's opposite there. And I'm gonna have, let's see, I think I got the trying to remember. All right. Now I want to make sure I get my um, bottom straight on here. Here's my 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 draw line right there. So I want to position that because when I sew this, it's going to follow the shape of this foot and hopefully be opposite. <laughs> so it's, I've had moccasins that came out looking like they were both the same side. All right, now you have all those layers. And because these are baby moccasins, I don't worry too much about wearing out from walking around because they don't walk yet. <laughs> so I'm using going to use um, size D Nymo and I'm just going to single it. And I'm going to try. I don't normally use a Glover's uh, needle because they don't always go through easy, but hopefully it'll work. So And I have a real hard time when I do this blanket stitch because it um, got to keep your stitches real even. So the stitch you're going to go over, it's just like a whip stitch, but it secures the layers together a little bit, I think, to make sure you stitch is even. And once I pull that through there, I'm going to go over and come back to that loop. And my stitch is going to catch it on top. So that's pulling all those layers together. So it's actually just a whip stitch, but I connect it on top.
So if you can see that, that where I catch it, it comes across the top there and just kind of reinforces it. I, I don't feel comfortable with just whip stitching it. It just doesn't feel right. All right, so now I'm gonna, because I have that in my loop, I'm gonna go back to that loop stays on top. And finish it off. Now I didn't go all the way. I didn't go all the way to the center because I want I want to match it up when I get to the mirror back side. Uh, some people can do it, and I'm just not good at it. So <laughs> make do. So now I just start back at the top and I'll work it down the other side. So I go through a second, come back across the top. Your toe, your top moccasin top is going to start bowing. So it's going to be a little bit tough to hold. So. But that paper bag makes it pretty stiff, so it's kind of hard to hold. I am going to cut. I'm going to cut my moccasin top down. Maybe. Make it a little bit easier to move around. my dot in there. Now I'm gonna see where I want my back sides to meet here. So that started there. I'm gonna meet them there. And like I said, I don't cut them off because I have a hard time matching them up because I'm not. Oh, so I have my, got to my spot there. And I'm gonna just I want my two lobes to overlap in the back. So I'm gonna lay them down. And I'm gonna
my my uh Max and matched up in the back here. And it looks like it's close. So I'm gonna cut straight up the back. Make sure I got them matched up here. Maybe I was wrong. So I'm gonna cut up, but I'm gonna cut just a little bit outside of that where it matches up at. Maybe. Because I'm gonna give, there we go. All right, then I'm going to, I think I probably should cut my tongue out the gray. So that I'm going to have to. Now I'm sure I don't. I'm going to make sure I don't cut my beadwork. All right, I'm going to sew this right up the back. I'll work my stitches back over. So I'm right where I need to be to go through there. I'm going to whip stitch this bottom part. A couple of stitches in there. All right, now I'm gonna do my blanket stitch up the back side. <clears throat> it makes it pretty stiff. Let's see. I push that. Push the seam in. Get it started. Maybe. <laughs> Seam open. I think that was the wrong way. Oh, wow. Well. There we go. And there it is. So I'm going to cut a strip that's going to go around the ankle of the moccasin. And I want to make sure it's long enough because um, it needs to go. It's going to come over the top of that and then come down. And I want it long enough to fringe it. So I just make that some tangle will just have to be that as wide as that. All right, so I'm gonna I want my 
south side to let's see I'm trying to decide which way I want it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have it overlap and come that way. So, and I want the soft side on top. So, we're going to flip it over and I will sew that to the inside. I want to make sure my fabric liner is secured along the side. So I'm just going to blanket stitch that together all the way up. All right, now I got that blanket stitched all the way up to the top. Sound up there. Now I'm going to put my piece on here. And I'm going to put it um, smooth side. I mean, upside to the inside there because this is going to flap over and hang down the fringe. So I'm going to sew it all the way around. So I whip stitch there a couple times. All right, all the way around. I'm going to just blanket stitch down this other side to secure this liner in here. And there we go. And I don't know if that's long enough to be able to tie. Probably not. Yeah, I'll try it. All right, so I'm going to open this up and I'm going to slide my string inside right here and flap this over and I'm going to encase my string <clears throat> inside there you know I've done that because it can pull tight when you're tying it and tighten it up around the ankle so now I'm just going to secure this upside down with the running stitch that's going to go right along right along the edge there so I want to be sewn on this side of that and make sure that my string is on the inside there Thank you. 
No, no. Coming from the back to the front, I'm going to make sure my needle is slanted, so I'm moving over. But I'm so when I put my needle in here, it's a small stitch, but it's slanted, so it's running along, going, but you can't, but you can't see the stitches very much. Just tack down. Now I'm going to cut the, the piece to make fringes. And now I'm going <clears> to <throat> make a couple of slits in the top of this so that my string will be through. So I'm just going to snip. Four. There we go. And now I'm going to cut my up in there. And I'm going to cut it close to the And there it is. How about that? Just in time. And that is the um, video from our Zoom session of our beating circle uh, to assemble the newborn baby moccasin. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and look forward to sharing more of our Zoom sessions with our beating circle. Please stop by and, and join us uh, on Sunday afternoons. You can join the Facebook group. Please answer all three questions in order to join that our uh, beating circle group and look forward to having you with us <clears throat> or you can stop by my um, website at www.quinwellpawcreations.com and see read my blog and see what i have there or you can go to my etsy shop <clears throat> which um, is at www.quinwapawcreations.se.com or you could scan this and buy me a copy um, in order to support my channel. Please share, like and share this video and subscribe to my channel and support me to continue to do this um, teaching. Um, thanks for stopping by. See you next time.